Welcome to Frog TV, I'm Adam Baker. Today I'm down on the central Pacific coast near the super popular beach town of Hako and there's only one man at the Namu Travel Group who knows this place better than anybody else and I think he's in and I think he's going to show us around. Baker, how's it going? Good. Ready to show us around? Yeah, let's do this. Are we expecting it to be busy in town? Um, yeah, actually, you know, it's Hakka's always got people around, so, you know, being that it's the closest beach town to San Jose, you get a lot of local traffic. Right, okay. Today's a Wednesday, so, you know, we'll see. Um, you'll see some Americans around just because it's a great family destination yeah. as well, not just a, you know, fishing or, or beach destination, but okay. a little bit of everything for someone. So here we are, we're in the downtown center of Hako. Uh, I like to say the strip where everything is going on. Great restaurants, yeah. nightlife, bars. Well, so basically we start over here. Our logo is uh, hair because we're really quick. Everything here is made fresh. We only use fresh mozzarella cheese and we have two types of sauces. Then you have over 50 ingredients here. Once you finish with this part, you pay for it and your pizza is done in just 90 seconds. This oven reaches a thousand degrees Fahrenheit and that's how the pizza is cooked so fast. Okay. It's a very traditional pizza. This is really how they make it in Napoli. We also went to take courses in Napoli to make sure that we're doing it right. The owner, super nice guy, just invited us to a pizza. Yeah, the reason I, I like it is because it's not your normal. Right. So, you know, Costa Rica has got cool food, the, the local eateries, but this is something different. Nice. This looks amazing, guys. Pretty good pizza. I'm originally from Florida. I came down to Costa Rica. Uh, my first time was 13 years ago. I actually got invited down to Costa Rica by one of my clients in my previous business. I never really thought about it other than the whole save the rainforest deal. After I came down here, just meeting the people, seeing the local culture, and being a sport fisherman, uh, you know, it's kind of like a new destination that I wanted to keep coming back to. And the ease of getting here from Florida made it really easy. So uh, that's pretty much how I got down here. So I was coming down here all the time, and then Christmas Day, 2009, uh, with the whole recession and everything going on in the states, I decided, you know what, I'm going to move down to Costa Rica and live here for a year and uh, learn Spanish. Worst case, and that was. Uh, eight years ago. So it's been a long, long Spanish lesson. So I met Lucia in San Jose. Actually, uh, one of the things I did when I first came down here is bought into some real estate in a bar and restaurant. And uh, it was a birthday party. And just so happened that she was one of the people there for the birthday party. And she was there and just, uh, you know, chatty patty that I am, uh, said hello. And that was seven years ago. Being closer to the water was great, but also a big part of it is whenever I, I got the job with Costa Rica Vacations, which was five years ago now. And uh, being part of the sport fishing division, it works out great because that's my passion. And then the ability to meet my clients and you know, just being in that environment. So moving to Jaco because of the Los Sueños Resort and Marina, as well as the access to Manuel Antonio and Capos, just made good business sense. Plus, if you're gonna be in Costa Rica, you might as well be at the beach, so. Well, Los Sueños particularly, for me, it's probably one of the best destinations here in the Central Pacific, especially for fishermen, people looking for more of a resort experience here in the Central Pacific, as far as having all the amenities on site. Yeah. You know, the restaurants, the Marina Village here is pretty yeah. five star. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty sweet. When it comes time to an establishment like this, in my book, it's probably the best place in Central America. Between, you know, great restaurants, plenty of things for the kids to do with the beach club, you know, the golf course on site and this marina which is home to arguably some of the best charter boat captains yeah. in all of Central America. And you meet a lot of clients here, right? This is one of your top places for when you have guests coming into the country? I do, especially specializing in the fishing. You know, the fact that the majority of my clients here and especially during December through May when it's a peak fishing season here, yeah. it's so easy living, you know, five minutes away yeah. from here, come hang out, see the clients. Yeah. Hako is, uh, you know, I describe it as the Vegas of Costa Rica. It's an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half from San Jose, so the accessibility back to the capital city is great. Um, you've got great restaurants, great eateries, nightlife. We actually have a movie theater here. It's a pretty big thing, so we can watch movies. It's not so remote that you feel isolated, 
and it's not so close to San Jose or so big that you feel like you're in a city. It's still got an authentic flair, but with easy access to everything. So it's a great family destination because you've got great jungle, rainforest, you've got hotels, condos. My first trip down here, actually I did pass through Haco and it was rough. I mean, maybe it was because I was new to Costa Rica and I didn't really know, but you know, you walk down the streets and it's just dirty and at night, you know, you get some interesting characters showing up and, and so that was back in, you know, 13, 14 years ago. And so Haco being that bigger beach town kind of lured a, you know, a darker side of people and then over the course of time, because of its popularity, the Los Sueños Resort becoming more popular, personally, I've seen Haco really clean up. For me, I feel like it's made a transition to where it's a great family-friendly destination. I feel completely safe, you know, whether it's during the day or night. And then when you go down now, you see all the local restaurants and all the local bars and people with bikes. And it's a great place to walk at night. You know, there's the different bars you can hop from, the different restaurants. It's made a transition. I think we're starting to see that now here because the construction's coming back. You see a lot more tourism here. If it's families with teenagers or a mixed group with, or multi-generation where you've got grandparents and parents and then teenagers, there's something for everyone. I think Haco is one of the top destinations. It also got rated a five star for TripAdvisor, which is pretty surprising. <laughs> you go with your three words. <laughs> Beach. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Party. Um, hot. <laughs> <laughs> so beach, party, and hot. Yeah. Okay. So I would do fishing, beach. Yeah, I'd probably go with party, nightlife. Yeah, there's a lot of people working the crazy rat race, you know, eight to five, seven days a week, you know, living with the Joneses, keeping up with the Joneses, and I started to realize they're working to get to the point where they can retire in Costa Rica, and I have the opportunity to work in Costa Rica, generate a living, help people plan vacations, which is not a very bad job. You know, you don't, you never get a call from somebody that's upset going, yes, you can help me, I have to plan this vacation. You know, they're, they're really excited. And so after looking at that, it's like I can make a great living, live the life that so many people are working till they're 60 to do. And so after that, we pretty much decided Costa Rica's home. But from what I understand, the reason I like it is everything is fresh. They have no freezers, they don't, they don't preserve anything. So when you order a steak, it's within two days, they fly it in. So all the fruits, the vegetables, everything is all fresh. The ambience is nice yeah. and just, you know, Killer. You something like it, yeah? different. I like it. Yeah? I love the tuna salsa. Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh. 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 Mm. Yummy. Okay, here we go. I might have made a mistake. Oh. It's the best thing you've eaten in Costa Rica. Justin, thank you for showing me around. I love seeing Hako and all the changes. Uh, it's great having you here. Thanks very much. And this meal, absolutely wonderful way to finish the, to finish the day off. So Perfect. Thanks, guys. Uh, guys, if you haven't been to Hako recently, get yourselves down here. There's been some amazing changes and I highly recommend it. As always, don't forget to click the link below to stay in touch with everything Costa Rica related. Uh, for Frog TV, I'm Adam Baker. He's Justin DeBoom. Hasta la próxima.